Well, I borrowed Matthew's uh, shades here for a minute. What, my, my future's so bright, I need to wear shades. Is that... Can you see anything through that? You cannot see anything through those. I was even looking at these bright lights here in the studio, and I could not even see the lights through those. We're only a couple of weeks away from August 21st. On that day, an event that's only happening in the United States, 70 miles wide, a solar, total solar eclipse is going to come from Oregon all the way to down to South Carolina. The only place it'll hit land is in America, and we've had some coins over the last few months to celebrate it. In fact, a curved solar eclipse coin that was done and sold out. It's going to be an exciting time. You know, we have some friends in the, the Tennessee area where our studios used to be just south of Nashville, Tennessee. And the, the parties that are being planned for this event on August 21st, the event of the total solar eclipse that are going to, that's going to sweep the nation and go right through the, uh, the heartland of America from, from sea to shining sea. So Matthew has it all mapped out. Eric, real quick. And, and I tell you, it's, it's a big deal coming up here later on this summer. Yeah, and actually uh, our family are down in... Phoenix, Arizona, where it's not going to have full totality, and my uh, my stepson's a space nut. So we're going to go to St. Joseph, Missouri, and up there is where one of the best paths is going to be for the for the amount of time that you actually get total darkness and the temperature drop. Uh, two minutes, 43 seconds is the maximum. Where we're going in St. Joseph, Missouri, two minutes, 40 seconds, but lots of events planned there for sure, including I, uh, hotel yeah, prices. you were telling me the hotel rooms were uh, a little bit uh, price gouging. Is that yeah. uh, is that what we're, the phrase we're looking for? But it's going to be a really neat event. We've had this coin available uh, for uh, a decent amount of time here at the Coin Vault. But I tell you, as the date nears, the popularity of this and the, the rapid uh, selling of these coins, it, it's going away very quickly. And I know we wanted to touch on this one more time before we were completely sold out Absolutely. of this option. We had these back in May, and actually we were the only place in the world for the first couple of weeks that had these. We had the worldwide launch exclusive on it. About a month ago, we sold out. Last week, we got word we had another couple of hundred that were able to get. The original price on these was going to be $130. Back then, we did do an introductory price at $98.88. And for this final 100, because we've already sold 100 of the 200, we're going to be able to honor that initial intro price. But that's, that's going to be it. Once these 100 have gone, that $98.88 price goes up to $130. $98.88, we'll split it up into two payments. And you can see what's really cool here. You know, Matt was talking about he's going to Missouri, St. Joseph, Missouri, yep. uh, where the, the eclipse will last two... Two, two minutes, 40 seconds. Two minutes, 40 seconds, and the... L the longest amount of time is 2 minutes 43 seconds. I believe so, 43. Okay, and we've talked about, you know, uh, for instance, Nashville, Tennessee, one of the larger cities in the United States of America. Uh, the parties and, and the groups and the, the restaurants and the different establishments that are going to have parties, there's just going to be people everywhere on August 21st to see this total solar eclipse. Now, look, I was going to say, it's so hard to see the curve on TV. We're going to try as best we can. The baseball coin was the first... U.S. mint coin a couple of years ago where we first got a U.S. piece of um, coinage with that curved effect. This is actually U.S. coinage, but it was not produced by the U.S. mint. It's actually done by our friends at the Native American Mint, and you've seen we've had a bunch of their coins on TV um, over the last few years. Um, really good friends with Nick and Daryl out there who have been um, awesome at coming up with just these neat ideas for this and with this you have the curvature of the earth where you see the solar eclipse path and on the reverse of the coin you see that ring of fire that's created when you see when you get into that total solar eclipse this is such a unique coin and they only minted 5000 of them can you imagine if they only minted 5000 of those well, baseball that, coins that was the that, that was one of the points I was wanting to get to as well, is the minage of only 5,000. You talk about all these uh, cities and these different places and, the, and the, the hotel rooms that are being raised because so many people are trying to get there. I can promise you there are going to be a lot more than 5,000 people watching this solar eclipse. There's going to be millions of people watching this solar eclipse, but only a very small percentage of them are even going to know about this coin, and most of those are watching the coin vault right now. I mean, if you're going to be in the big cities like Nashville, Charleston, South Carolina, or on the coast of Oregon, you know there's going to be vendors selling solar eclipse-based oh, products, yes. and they're going to have tens of millions of these. This, there are only 5,000 that have ever been produced. The coin vault has sold more than any other vendor, coin retailer, in the world. 
we were sold out of these for the longest time. We were sold out for about four or five weeks. We're another couple of weeks away from this. This was literally it in terms of the costing we could get from our friends, Nick and Daryl. That $30 saving we pushed, it was like, we'll take that 200, but then they said, we've got to put the price up to where we should have been back in May. So are these, uh, th these what you're going to wear when you're down there in Missouri? To, well, I'm uh, blind. I have to wear them over these, so I look like <laughs> a complete fool. <laughs> you look good, man. You got, the, got your solar eclipse uh, protective sunglasses on there. Uh, do you, you know, you're a, just a couple years older than I. I'll, I'll let everybody know, a couple years older than I. I remember I was about, I was about eight years old. I think it was 1986. Do you remember when Haley's Comet came I around? Remember do you that. remember that? You know, you were, you would have been in Grimsby, uh, England at the time, I right? Uh, yeah, I remember that. I believe uh, uh, we, uh, it was a big deal. You mentioned all the merchandise and the t-shirts and things that were sold at that time for, for Haley's Comet back in 1986. Well, just think, you know, fast forward to 2017 and all the, the marketability for an event like this, but to have an actual legal, uh, a, a coin of sorts, and to have a curve-shaped coin, it's silver, and you can do all that, and it's less than $100, I think it's a really, really cool thing. And it is cool. You can see the tracking of the moon across the United States of America. And again, the, the only place it will actually touch land during the total solar eclipse is the continental United States. That's very unique. There is another total of solar eclipse in seven years, but it will hit, um, I believe, Canada and Mexico. This makes it, they keep calling it, when you look online, the great American solar eclipse. There you go. <laughs> um, again, the one thing I was just getting to a minute ago, it is the Sioux Nation, one of the Indian tribal nations, the solar eclipse actually will pass through that tribal nation. It hits a lot of the rural United States during this. Within, the, within that, our friends of the Native American Mint, they work with the tribes. You know that from a lot of the other coins, from the Dreamcatcher yes. coins that we've had. What this is, allows them to do is actually, because it is um, authorized by Congress as a legal sovereign nation, they are able to put one dollar, one American dollar, on the coin. It is not true legal tender, but is the only place using the tribal nations and working with them, and a portion of the proceeds from the sale will go to the tribal nation, but is the only coin that's not produced by the United States Mint that can have that one dollar America on it. And that makes it, it's just so, we've got so many unique things about this piece and not only that it is curved it is colorized it's one ounce silver proof they only minted 5,000 over 20 percent of the entire minches has been sold by the coin vault this is why you watch us this is what we work for for you to bring you items like this for under a hundred dollars which are just so unique and so amazing you just can't find them anywhere else but i do encourage you this is one of the times we really need you to call now. We had 200 last Wednesday, we found out about that. We're down to well under 100 now. This will be gone within the week. Absolutely so. Go ahead and give us that phone call right now. You always have a checklist when you're talking about coins, and Matthew just mentioned a bunch of those checkpoints. Uh, curve shape, colorized, silver, uh, $1 denomination, America, for the solar eclipse. Get it here today at the Coin Vault.